Hey, Mark the Meerkat suffering here. End of another bullish day on Wall Street. This is the weekend report for August 24 through 26. Well, this is Mark the Meerkat suffering in for Dez, who's gone fishing. Let's take a look at the day. We On Friday, we had uh, up 100 points, uh, 0.77 on the in Dow Jones Industrials. We were up 0.65 on the S&P, up 0.54 on the uh, NASDAQ and the small caps were up 0.40. So who led the way? It was the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrials. Uh, bank up 0.61. It uh, then confirmed then what the S&P was up. And the VIX was down 4.89%. Down to 15 uh, in a couple of cents there. Uh, so we're still low on the VIX. Uh, gold didn't do much today after the big pop yesterday. And it was... The silver uh, did come up a little bit there. What's interesting is the UUP was up 0.31, even though we had a bullish day. Usually that's the opposite. So let's take a look at that S&P 500. As you can see, we dropped just below the 20 moving average here. And then it didn't said, nope, nope, nope. That's also right where the 1400 psychological support line is. And said, no, we're going to take it up today. And we did... Uh, Finishing uh, uh, just below the high of the day. But if we take a look down below here at the MACD, we still have a divergence going on where the MACD is down and the pricing was going up. So uh, that is thunder in the distance that we may be ending this uptrend. Or maybe not. Let's take a look then at the weekly. Here's the weekly for the S&P 500. Where we uh, look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we had a higher high and a higher low this week. Uptrend is still intact, but it, of course, it is kind of in danger here uh, of cracking on our weekly charts. Uh, let's take a look next at the monthly. And here's the monthly chart. Uh, we're still uh, coming out bullish, but we are at some very critical major trend lines as you can see from here uh, it's cracked just above it will it stay above it or not here over the next uh, week uh, if it does then the uptrend could continue if it doesn't then it won't this is the NASDAQ daily where we came up and we started to pull back and now the 11 EMA exponential moving average is acting as support if you notice that on the S&P 500 it was the 20 so this is a little bit more bullish in its pullback and we had a nice big spike today let's take a look at the weekly here is the weekly in a nice uptrend in the upper part of the trend line channel and in the monthly we are now getting ready to test that 3100 area again it we have one more week in the month here basically so let's see if we're going to keep thrusting forward or if it's time for us to pull back from from those recent mo monthly highs next take let's take a look at the dow here's the dow jones industrials its daily chart again we had the run up and the pull back and then look at this it pulls right back up again now the dow is a little bit less bullish than others because it was below way below this 20 period moving average and now it did fall up here above but it does have some resistance on the 11 EMA and the 8 EMA well, let's see uh, whether or not it's going to break through here the next week and kind of a bull pullback or if it's actually going to drop let's take a look at the weekly weekly even though we closed down for the week uh, we did have a lower low and a, but a higher high so it was an outside week on the Dow but uh, let's see where we're going to finish up for next week monthly on the Dow is it we are still pulling up here getting ready to test these highs uh, we have one more week to push it up above or perhaps drop below here's a small cap Russell's on the daily chart came up it did cross this major trend line here uh, tagged just tagged up here at this uh, at this high and then and it's pulled back and again it's playing around where the 8 and 11 EMAs didn't reach all the way down to the 20 so it's a little more bullish than the Dow and the S&P 500 let's take a look at the weekly weekly chart is it's just above this major trend line but then it pulled back below 
Uh, we see next week whether or not we're going to break out from here, and that bre the breakout from this trend area will continue. Next, let's take a look at the monthly on that. And here is the monthly, and here's where you can see where we picked up the major trend lines here. And uh, we were up above at one point, breaking out, but we've pulled back inside of there. We need to break up above this uh, 810, 812 area in order we need to finish up there by the end of next week to help the month close out above that line. For you gold bugs out there, GLD, after its big huge breakout this week, this is the daily chart, it did uh, begin to just start a high base here. I uh, did not pull back after that big breakout. So this breakout from this ascending triangle was very successful if you were able to get in. We'll see if it rests there for a little while and continues or not. The daily on the banks, uh, same thing as the S&P 500, pulled back to where it's 20 period moving average and then has pulled up here. And we'll see if that's going to act as support here going through the next week or so. The VIX, uh, the volatility index, look at that. It was down here below 14 on a couple of days. Personally, I try to get in on a couple of uh, calls here. When I was on vacation, I was chasing it on this day. And when it hit $15, I stopped chasing. And now it's pulling back down here to $15.18. But this is, these are extremely low levels that the market is showing very much complacency. Don't know if it's just because everyone's on vacation or they're just ignoring some of the news that's out there. Time will tell. So that's a quick look at the week in review. I uh, just want to remind you that uh, Des will be on vacation for the next week, but there are other videos that we have on our site. This is the broad market video, which we do every day. Typically it's Des, but sometimes I fill in. I also do a stocks video on one of my day trades each morning from the Grokstar Trading Room. Uh, again, it's free. It's posted almost every day. On the futures, we also have futures by Matt, and uh, he posts some there uh, uh, four or five times a week. And then there's also the ETF trading by Carolina. Uh, she does uh, a couple of times a week, and we also have the Spanish version that pops in and out. So, you got lots of choices here on free videos from freeonlinetradingeducation.com. This is Mark the Miracat Suffering. Just remember that these trends and trend patterns work every single time until they don't. Have a great weekend.